Greetings! Uh, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use Reaper for voice acting. And uh, this is going to be a quick, I'm going to do, I'm going to bounce back to Audacity now and then just to show you because a lot of amateur uh, voice actors will use Audacity first. And I'm going to show you what benefits you can have by switching to Reaper and um, you just basically get more, uh, you get more out of it and you get more possibilities with uh, Reaper. Part of which is uh, getting your recordings loud enough to send away. All right, um, now I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna do this. So in Reaper or in Audacity, you click record, make sure you have a uh, mono input enabled, but this isn't about Audacity. Anyways, you press record, and then what you have after, check, 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 is some effects from here. And if we wanted to use compressor, you don't get any kind of live feedback with you get a preview but it's not like you can just change the threshold as you're listening right and that's important with compression and gate you know you have to be able to do this live so um i'm gonna that's basically what i wanted to show you in audacity if you want to add if you want to do any kind of post processing it's not live you can't just change it slightly as you go so i'm going to go ahead and close audacity here and we're going to do a quick line in uh, Reaper, and I'm going to show you how. So you'll notice right now my peaks are going up to minus uh, three-ish. Really, really, um, that's really loud. If your peaks are going in this hot, uh, turn down your preamp. Because basically, um, most converters, like which is audio interface, if you are using a real tech or if you're using a professional audio interface or a USB mic, they all have a digital or an analog to digital converter, okay? And um, they w usually work around minus 12 decibels full scale, which is the decibels on the computer, okay? So, um, so basically, right now I have compression going in. I have compression on the DSP right now. So I'm going to be, I'm going to change this to, I'm going to turn the compression off. You're going to notice my signal is going to drop way down. But this is what we want for recording, okay? So I'm going to do this line, or maybe two lines from this uh, real-time strategy. And then uh, I'll show you exactly what kind of benefit you have to using Reaper. Follow my lead, Fists of Dorn. Brothers, listen to my word. All right. Okay, so anyways, I uh, just did this one quick little recording. Um, I'm going to show you exactly how I can get this to get our peaks up nice and high and then keep those lows, um, keep the... Uh, increase the silence okay which is using so you basically you can uh, make your peaks higher by increasing the gain or you can add compression and then increase post gain to the compression and then you can add gating to the silent parts which um and i've been like i've just been playing a couple games lately and turning the music and sound effects off just to hear how the voices are done so like fallout new vegas and skyrim um, and they all use the same technique. You can just hear it. So without further ado, let's uh, get some effects going. And the way you do that, you just click on effects here. And what this does is opens up your effects rack. Okay. So and it automatically opens up uh, your adding or add effects to track one. Okay. So what we're going to want to use is Recomp, and that's your compressor, okay? And then um, we're gonna use regate. However, we're gonna put the gate before the compressor, and I'm gonna explain why, okay? So I'll add another one, add the compressor, okay? So now you'll notice that we have control of both, and we can, we can, uh, here, I'm gonna just trim this front. We can, ch we can listen as we view the feedback from the meters, and we can tell exactly what is happening and change exactly what's happening at any time. So follow my lead, fists of Dorn. Okay, so what we're gonna do, and um, 
We're going to put the gate first. So basically, we're going to listen and then hear those breaths come out. It won't be as obvious until we put the compression on. Follow my lead, fists of dual. And you'll notice that I'm losing the F on my fists. And that's, uh, you don't want that. So you want to play with this uh, knob until you get it. Follow my lead, fists of Dorn. Follow my lead, fists of Dorn. All right. So um, that is basically, let's turn the release down a little. Attack is good. Okay. So um, our, oh, sorry. I got a sneeze coming. So. Let's uh, let's say we uh, let's leave that now because we got kind of those breaths out of the middle, and that's gonna take out those out of between the words, and it just enables you to bring up the whole the rest of it. Okay, so let's go to our compressor now. Take a listen. Follow my lead, fists of Dorn. All right. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna adjust our threshold to our peaks okay and we're gonna like or basically we'll do take a look at our waveform and we're gonna put our p or our threshold just below all the average peaks okay so what that's gonna do it's gonna uh trim these high peaks down and then make these lower peaks more audible okay so we're gonna put it about here but we're just gonna listen and watch all of my lead fists of dorn all of my lead fists of dorn okay so all of my lead here, I'll even show you. Let's, uh, you take this, the way you take, uh, you take this, I guess I could disable this recording now, but you can, uh, you reset this meter by clicking on the right of it, and then you can take a look at exactly how high these peaks are. Fists of Dorn! All right, so our peaks are 16.2. Sorry, my eyes aren't so good. So we're going to reduce our threshold to, let's say, 19. And now the thing that's going to, that basically is going to trigger the compressor, right about here okay so now we want to adjust the ratio which will divide the signal above the threshold by a certain amount so i usually use two to three um between two and three to one okay our knee size is basically how long it takes the ratio to reach the full um the full uh division of it i guess so uh, let's say it's two to one. It's not going to reach two to one until it is five or four decibels over the threshold. So it's going to slowly adjust the compression until then. So you can it you can add like a slight knee or you know it's up to you. Just the main thing is that you get these levels compressed down so that you can add a bit more. So another thing we're going to want to use is auto makeup. Okay, now what this is going to do is going to automatically increase add. 18.5 decibels to the signal now it's gonna be really fists of dorn so fists of dorn it's actually not as loud as i thought it would be but that's okay too so we can just add a bit of fists of dorn all right so that's not bad you know we got this fists of dorn we're at minus 3.7 so it's much much louder than we thought it was and the good thing is we could do this all live so we can keep listening and um, making sure we get it right until we decide to export. Now, what we're going to want to do, um, this is important, okay? When you're... Follow my lead, fists of Dorn! So see how it jumped up past the, uh, the, uh, the red? Don't want that, okay? Let's put this meter back down and see what it does. Follow my lead, fists of Dorn! So yeah, it went up to 6.0. Minus 6.2. So that is our peak level of the whole thing. So we can even turn that up about three decibels. When you're sending it to somebody, send it minus three decibels low. Okay. Now, what's this, what this is going to enable the, the end modder or um, user to use this. And um, it's going to make it easier for him to balance all the voices in the game because it's at a more standard level. He's getting it at a more standard level. And you're not damaging the vocals. If uh, if you want to, you can leave the gate out of it. Um, I'll show you. Follow my lead, fists of Dorn. So right now I'm using a SM7B, and it kind of sounds a bit muddy. 
basically I just use this for like video voiceovers because I have speakers and all kinds of other stuff. But if you're using a condenser mic, you get a brighter sound out of it, generally speaking. So, um, but that's why the breaths aren't as audible because I'm, I'm just like talking through this dynamic mic. However, with a, um, with a condenser mic, that's going to be more audible. You can hear those breaths more. So what you can do is just use a gate to get rid of those breaths and basically turn it up or turn your gate up until, until you can't hear the breaths, but before you want to be able to hear these F's or S's, right? You want to hear these, uh, what is it? Heath, like that kind of stuff or fists like the f's do you want you don't want to cut those starting uh letters you know it's i'm sure that's obvious to a lot of people but it has been done before so follow my lead fists of dorn so you got this really clean sounding track now okay follow my lead fists of dorn i wonder why that one went up over anyways so that's just my basic tutorial on how to use um reaper with voice acting, and I'll show you exactly. Uh, here, let's let's export this thing. Okay, render, master mix. Okay, entire project, which is our this whole thing here. So basically, that's our. And you can uh, if you want, you can select time selection, which will follow this particular bar at the top that I'm moving. And uh, file name. Yeah, let's go to the directory, browse, desktop, because I put everything on the desktop. Follow my lead. All right, and you want to, most uh, most times you want to give people WAV files, okay? They can do the conversion over there, but you can just use WAV files, please, because it's better for everybody. It's a lossless type of... Uh, file so you're not going to actually change the sound you're going to get the exact uh sound you're looking for, or you you gave Ugh. you're going to get the sound the exact same sound that you hear in the project so render one file show an explorer all right follow my lead let's put this in here so you can kind of see and you can you can also change it to mono file it's not really um i guess you should change it to mono file because there's no point in using making a stereo file. <clears throat> so uh, here we go. Now you can you'll notice right away that the peaks are bigger. And let's see if we can't uh, just make these. Yeah, well, actually, let's uh, delete and let's export again. Render. See, I just, I'm not familiar with all the shortcuts yet. So I'm going to render this again with the mono because, yes, overwrite. All right, clues. All right, here we go. So now you'll be able to see the difference here. So this is the difference between the two. Shoot, how do I zoom in again? Blah, I forget all the shortcuts now. There we go. Hold the control and the scroll. So you'll see you're giving it's uh it's a bigger file. These uh these peaks didn't get shaved down as much as I would hoped, but follow my here, let's mute that one. Follow my follow my lead, fists of Dorn. So see it still dropped out quite a bit. So I could have even increased the ratio on the front on the first one and um gotten Follow my lead, fists of Dorn. Uh, yeah, I could probably increase this ratio, and you just have to click on effects, and then you can even turn on the threshold a little more. Ratio up. Follow my lead, fists of Dorn. So it went up right to zero point five there, which we don't. Follow remember. my lead, fists. It's getting a little too close. So follow my lead, fists of Dorn. So you see, it it actually dropped back quite a bit less there. So increase the ratio, and. Uh, Basically, you just want you want all the your all your phrases to be even because you know people speak naturally their voices drop back or you know 
but in in games you want to be able to you want to hear all your words you know you don't want to you don't want to be buried half half your phrase and then people are like what's he saying so especially when there's no subtitles if it's just passive type talk there we go so there we go that's a bit better so yeah you'll notice these are quite a bit flatter um although still not as whatever anyways that's but the point is you can just edit things right in the program rather than trying to go compression then uh press okay and then you just see it doesn't it wasn't exactly what you wanted so you have to go back and you know it's this is just much smoother workflow anyways this has probably gone on way too long so kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with reaper and this is just like a part of it like reaper comes with all kinds of plug or all kinds of plugins so you can uh add delay or i'm sure you wouldn't like for any unless you're doing your own kind of thing so you can you know do pitch crazy pitch shifting stuff let's get rid of this here i'll show you oh oh <laughs> Ah, oh, that's feeding back. So, um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, if you want to hear your voice back, hit this, uh, hit this record monitoring, and you'll get a. Uh, it's just kind of coming back through my speakers. That's why it's all weird. I don't have headphones on. I really should, but so some of the pro or some of the VSDs give you a huge delay like, like this, this, and then you can change the pitch. Like, like this. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, mortals. I will kill you all. <laughs> I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. <laughs> what? Okay, so. Anyways, uh, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, just so much stuff, and it's, I'm sure. Uh, uh, yeah, anyways. Good times. Good times. And great oldies. Okay, bye.